forget you, nurse, you know that? I'll never forget you either, Dr. Russell. To think we've only just found each other and now I have to go away and leave you. I could always resign and follow you. No. No, that wouldn't work. If you're in the same hospital, I'd want to spend all my free time with you. <laughs> no. When I go to the Albert Memorial, I'm going to concentrate on one thing only. My career. When next we meet, I'll be one of the best surgeons in the country, I promise you. You're already one of the best operators I know. I like to think I'm a cut above the rest. Now, have a one for the road. Okay. Melbourne's gonna miss you, Craig. What a beautiful sentiment, Marilyn. I've got to go. I'm on duty in a couple of hours. I need some sleep. How about tonight? No. I meant what I said, Lawrence. You either speak to your wife about us or we kiss goodbye. Okay. You don't give me much of a choice. I'll speak to her today. Promise? Promise. See you tonight, then. Adams. Don't you ever sleep, sister? I wouldn't, if all my nurses lived it up the way you do. Have you any complaints about my work? No, nurse, only your morals. I think you should examine your conscience. Nursing requires a certain amount of dedication. And if you're not prepared to give it, I suggest you concentrate on whatever else it is you do best. Sister Scott, the only thing that would make me give up nursing at the moment is the thought of turning into a vinegary old maid. Dad? What about that breakfast I cooked for you? Okay. Come on. Out with it. What's the matter? Has Mum got another headache? Yes. I told her to have a sleep in and I'd get you away to school. She doesn't like it here. She'd rather be back in Melbourne. She's lonely. Yes, I know she is. But when she gets to meet people here and make friends, she'll feel differently about it. Toby, I'm superintendent of a very large hospital now. When you grow older, you'll realise how important it is to get to the top. That's why I work such long hours and can't spend as much time as I'd like with you and your mother. You understand? Yes. Good. Well, come on, man. Dad? Why does Mum hate the hospital? Hello, reception. No, this is Sister Scott. Dr. Craig Rothwell. We have no Dr. Craig Rothwell at the hospital. Very well, put her through. Excuse me, Dr. Denham, do we have a Dr. Rothwell joining the staff? Oh, good morning, Sister. Yes, he's one of the new interns. He starts this week. Ah, hello. <laughs> You were asking about Dr. Rothwell. Well, he hasn't started at the hospital yet. Very well, what's the message? Really, young woman, this is a very busy hospital and we have better things to do than listen to inane messages to members of our staff. Nurse Adams. I know, sister, I'm late. It would help the smooth running of this hospital if you spent more of your time here, young lady. I'm sorry, Sister Scott. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to find out what these people want. Just relax, Billy. This will help you. Now try to breathe normally. That's it. Hold your hand up when you feel any pain. Hmm. Nice to have you with us at long last, Nurse Adams. Thank you, Dr. Steele. Perhaps you can warn us now if you intend being late again tomorrow morning. Well, young man, I think we'll see you back in hospital. We have a friend of yours here, Nurse Adams. Remember Billy Webb? Billy? 
Hello, Billy. Same old trouble again, eh? Boys' parents outside? Yes, Doctor. I'll have a word with them. Morning, Sister Scott. Morning, Dr. Steele. Hello, this is Sister Scott. I'm in casualty if you need me. All right, thank you. Excuse me, I'm from the soft drink factory. Would you mind waiting through there, please? What for? I presume you've come here because you wish to see a doctor? Yes. Well, a doctor will see you when it's your turn. Could I see a lady doctor, please? A lady doctor? Now, why do you want to see a lady doctor? Well, it's just that... Well, it's embarrassing. Well, um, Trina, we don't embarrass easily here. Would you like to tell me what's wrong with you? I'm pregnant. Well, are you feeling ill? Oh, no. I suppose I should be, but I'm not. Well, if you're not feeling ill, what are you doing here? This is casualty department. I know. And this is an emergency, isn't it? Exactly how pregnant are you? Um, about half an hour. You all right, Sister Scott? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Doctor. It's just going to be one of those days, that's all. Hello, Grace. Hello, is um, Dr. Denham in? Yes, he's expecting you. Go right in. Thanks. Ah, oh, Sister Scott. Maybe a moment. Please sit down. Thank you. I'm off to New Zealand this morning. Yes, I know, the conference. I just wondered if you'd like me to take a message to Dr. Andrews. Oh, well, please remember me to him. Yes, I'll do that. Of course, I haven't forgiven him for trying to get you moved to his hospital over there. I'm glad we persuaded you to stay, sister. Thank you, sir. Is Mrs. Denham going with you? No, she's not. Oh, well, I do hope we'll be able to meet her. Yes, well, uh, she's been very busy settling in since we arrived from Melbourne. What with a new house, that sort of thing. Oh, yes, of course. Well, I hope you have a pleasant trip. Thank you, sister. It's half past eight, Doctor. Oh, thanks, Helen. I'll just phone my wife and then I'll be on my way. Yes? Ah, oh, you're awake then. Only just. Is something wrong? Yes. In my rush to get our son fed and ready for school this morning, I left my folder for the New Zealand conference. Ah, so you did. Would you like me to send it to the hospital? Oh, no, it'll be quicker if I come back home for it. Laura, do you think you could iron me a shirt? Well, I ironed you one. I presume you're wearing it. I would like one to take with me. Okay. Yes, I'll iron one. It'll be waiting for you. Just sit there, will you? Doctor will see you in a minute. Audley, nurse, give us a hand, will you? We're taking him up, Doctor. Right. I'll come up and see you later, Billy. Well, this is... Um... It's Miss... I'm sorry, Miss Emery. Uh, what seems to be the trouble? The trouble, young man, is I have been waiting around this hospital for the past hour. Well, I'm sorry, but that really isn't anything to do with me. Now, what can I do to help you? Well, I... Uh... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Casualty. Right, we're on our way. Nurse Adams, emergency. The ambulance has just pulled in. Really? <sighs> excuse me. Yes? Would anyone around here care if I was dying? Are you dying? How should I know? It's impossible to see a doctor. Mm. A doctor will see you shortly. haven't stated your age. My age is my own concern. Fifty-five. Fifty-five, my foot. I am 48 years of age, young man. Well, why didn't you say so? Very well. What seems to be the trouble? 
I'd prefer to be asked these questions by an older man. Oh, my God. Sister Scott, explain to this patient that we haven't the time for coy old maids around here. Dr. Steele? Laura? See you when I get back. Bran, kiss me goodbye. I am your wife, Brian. Oh, for the love of God, Laura, I've got a plane to catch. Look, I'm not asking you to take me to bed, darling. I simply want you to kiss me goodbye, properly. I offered to say goodbye properly last night, remember? Yes, well, I'm sorry about that. You know, I would have enjoyed that flight to New Zealand. Oh, but you'd have hated the conference, Laura. Oh, I don't know. I could have amused myself until you'd finished impressing your cronies. No doubt. I told Toby I'll bring him a present. Brian, I'll ask you again. Kiss me goodbye properly. I'm going for one bloody day, Laura, so will you shut up? See you shortly. Well, now, Reverend, what seems to be the trouble? Oh, how dare you! How dare you! This is too much, too much! Madam, will you get back in there and lie down? Never. I wish to see someone in authority around here. You are looking at someone in authority. You, you dreadful little man! Dr. Steele, what's wrong well, with this woman? Well, Miss Emery? Shall I tell everyone, including the reverend gentleman, what's wrong with you, or will you get back on that table? <gasps> you were right, Sister Scott. It is going to be one of those days. open or closed, do you know? Oh, I guess it's open. They gave me a cup of coffee when I asked for it. Mm. It's handy to the hospital. Mm. Look, um, why don't you knock? I think they're having some trouble in the kitchen. There was a lot of yelling. Must be an interesting book. Mm, it is, and I'd really like to continue reading it. Oh. Psychosurgery. Well, well, you must be a nurse. No, I'm a doctor. And you, in turn? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. And so are you, right? <laughs> I'm Craig Rothwell. Gail Henderson. Craig Rothwell. I don't believe it. Denham's office, please. Dr. Denham's office. Oh, hello, Mrs. Denham. I've just had a letter from some friends in Melbourne. Is it true Dr. Craig Rothwell is coming to the hospital? Yes, he's one of the new interns. He starts tomorrow. No, he hasn't arrived yet, to my knowledge. Oh, it was just that my husband and I knew him in Melbourne. Well, Thanks, Mrs. Gordon. 
look around town. You care to join me? Oh, no, I've got a lot to do before tomorrow. Well, now that we've met, how about me taking you to dinner? Ah, uh, sorry. Um, maybe some other time. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep trying. I'm sure you will, Doctor. Bye. Julie. Are you going up to see young Billy Webb? Hmm, when I finish my tea. Coming up? No. I've just been speaking to Sister Wilson. She'd like you to try to reason with him. Dr. Fredericks wants to operate. Poor kid. Well, Fredericks knows what he's talking about. Billy's refusing to let me touch him. I can't do that. Anyway, the op will cure him, surely. Let's hope you can convince him of that. Why me? Well, he won't listen to his parents. Or Fredericks. And he did have that big crush on you last time he was in your ward. Yeah. Wanted to take me out. Fifteen-year-old kid. Hi, lover boy. Feeling any better? A bit. I'm sorry you're not in this ward anymore. Yes, I'm in casualty at the moment. But don't be surprised if I pop back. I'm on relief. They want to operate this time, Miss Adams. Do they, Billy? Well, that's a good thing. Is it? Of course it is. We've had a lot of trouble with that old tummy of yours. In and out of hospital, blood transfusions, all that pain. I'm not going to let them do it. Oh? Why not? Hey, come on, Billy. We're old friends, aren't we? I'll die if they operate. Of course you won't die. And that's silly to talk like that, isn't it? Would you let them do this operation to you? Well, if it meant me getting better, of course I would. Look, why don't you have a word with Dr. Fredericks, isn't it? I tried. He just said he'd spoken to my parents. And? Well, he's not operating on my parents, is he? I'm 15, nurse. I'm not some stupid kid. Besides, even if I live, what's my life going to be like anyway? Would you like me to talk to Dr. Fredericks? No. No, I'll sort it out. Don't worry. Well, I've got to get back on duty. Look, why don't you sleep on it and, and I'll come up first thing in the morning and we can talk again. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Excuse me. Yes? My name's Rothwell. Dr. Rothwell? Yes. Dr. Craig Rothwell? Yes. Oh, well, I'm surely not that famous, sister. No, you're not, doctor. You're also a day early. Interns start tomorrow. Yes, I know, but I was hoping to see Dr. Denham. Dr. Denham's in New Zealand. He'll be back tomorrow to welcome the interns. Oh, and your... Sister Scott. Dr. Shaw, please. Dr. Shaw, is he in the building? Yes. Oh, Dr. Shaw, the cards you asked for are already at reception. Fine, thank you. The great man himself, eh? I'll be working with him. You're fortunate. Yes, I'd like to meet him. Well, speak to the receptionist when she gets back. He's a very busy man. Yes, I know. I've heard all about those wealthy society ladies he operates on. You do have a lot to learn, don't you, Doctor? I've spoken to your wife yet? No. It's Dr. Shaw here, Mrs. Lawson. Now, you've been a very naughty girl. I warned you, didn't I? 
<laughs> of course it isn't serious. Just a snip here and a snip there, and you'll have a lovely story to tell your ladies at the bridge parties. Oh, no, 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 no. My nurse will ring and make the arrangements. Yes, I just wanted to tell you that you and your gallbladder will soon be parting company. <laughs> now stay off all those fattening foods. Right. Okay, Mrs. Lawson, bye. There you are, Dr. Shaw. Ah, Helen, where would we be without you? You wouldn't be using Dr. Denham's office to phone your wealthy patients, I know that much. Just one more call and I'm off. All right. does Brian get back from New Zealand tomorrow? Oh, he's on the early flight. He'll be here about 7.30. He wants to welcome the new interns. Well, I'd like to see him first. I'll be here waiting for him. You are not what you seem, nurse. People don't understand you. Perhaps it's just as well they don't. And this line here, someone has a very strong influence on your life, a woman. Very strange woman. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. White. I've never had my palm read before. It's very good of you. <laughs> You'll see. Everything I told you will happen. It always does. Excuse me. Jojo, that woman over there. With the sprained ankle. She reads palms. Palms? Professionally. She just read mine. Honestly, she's incredible. Come on. Mrs. White, this is Nurse Adams. Hello. Hello, love. Could you take a look at her palm? Of course. A beautiful young girl like you must have an incredible hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really believe in all this. Oh, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Well? Nothing. I, um... I don't see anything. Oh, come on, you must see something. <laughs> Julie, would you mind? Well, Mrs. White? Very well. You'll lose the man you want. Others will follow. Men will be your downfall, nurse. You'll be offered great wealth by a man, but if you accept it, it will lead to tragedy. Scoff if you will, but that is what is in your hand. <laughs> 